Welcome to this video on transforming a Rhino 3D model into stunning renders. In this tutorial, I will be sharing with you the process I used to create these renders and how stable diffusion can help you achieve similar results. I will provide you with a step-by-step -step installation guide for stable diffusion on your computers. By the end of this video, you will be able to create impressive renders with ease. So, let's get started. To download Python from the official website, go to python.org. Press on download and select the appropriate link for your computer's operating system, Windows or Mac OS. Choose the latest stable release. Go down and click on the installer link to begin the download. The website link can be found in the description below. The second step is we are going to install Stable Diffusion locally on our computers. We go to Google again and search Automatic 1111 GitHub. Then we choose this one. Or you can copy and paste the link from the video description below. We press on the green button here and download the zip file. After that, we extract the folder and put it in the folder we want. For example, let's create a folder called Local Stable Diffusion on Desktop and place the extracted folder inside it. Now we open the folder, we go down and open webui.bat file, the batch file. It will start installing the Stable Diffusion package. Now if you see a warning says that you need to upgrade the pip package, close the window and press on the folder path in the same folder, then type cmd and press enter. The comment prompt will open. We type this sentence and press enter or you can copy and paste it from the description below. After that, we close the comment prompt window. Now to update Python or check if it's already updated, we open comment prompt by typing cmd in the main search bar in the computer. And this time we type this sentence and press enter or you can copy and paste it from the description. Next, we go again to the main folder that we have downloaded and open webui.bat and now it should work. After the installation is done, you will see a link like this one. Copy and paste it into your browser like Chrome you will see the stable diffusion interface. In the top bar, we go to the extensions tab. Then to install from URL, we paste this link from the video description here. And click install. After installing, you will get this message here. Go to Google, open this link, you can find it in the description also. Now download each of these large files. After the downloading is done, we will go to the main folder. We open extensions, then webui-controlnet, then models. We place all the downloaded models here in this folder. After that, we go back to the Stable Diffusion window. We go to Extensions, and this time we press on the Install tab. We click on Apply and Restart UI. After that, you will see Stable Diffusion Web UI Control Net is added.
Now that we installed Stable Diffusion and Control Net locally to our computers, we can start do our prompts. And in order to open Stable Diffusion next time, after you shut down your computer, you just need to do one step. You need to open the webui.batch file, and once you get the link, you can copy and paste it into your browser and start using Stable Diffusion directly. To start using Stable Diffusion, first, we need to choose the checkpoint from the drop menu at the top. At the moment, leave it as it is. In the next tutorials, we will learn how to install and add other realistic checkpoint models. Make sure that you are on the text to image tab. Then you press on the little arrow here to expand the control net window. Click here to upload the image you want to render. It can be a screen capture from a 3D model. Then check enable. Press on the little arrow here. You will see the model that we have downloaded before. Choose the model you want to use. For this prompt, we are going to use Scribble model. We have to choose the same model in the preprocessor also. So we are going to choose Scribble X Dog. Try to test all these models and choose what is appropriate for your renders. The next step is we are going to specify the batch count, which is the number of generations that we will get. Let's type 2 for this prompt. And here is the seed. At the moment leave it as it is, and we will explore it in the next tutorials. Then we need to set the image dimensions. For this image, I'm going to set 640 by 360 as the dimensions because it's 16 to 9 ratio. Lastly, we specify the sampling steps. The higher the steps, the more time it will take. Now we can start trying our positive and negative prompts by explaining and describing the scene we want. and press generate. Try to adjust your text to get different results. To see all the images that you have generated, Go again to the Stable Diffusion folder, click on Outputs, and you will find all your prompts here in this folder. And here are some results. Thanks for watching. If you find this video valuable, Please kindly support the channel by subscribing and also turning on your notification so you get notified when I drop new videos.